Hello and welcome to my channel, Hardware AI. Today, we're going to have a look at new computer vision module lineup from OpenCV and Luxonis, Oak One and Oak D. Oak stands for OpenCV AI Kit. It is an MIT licensed open source software and Myriad X based hardware solution for computer vision tasks. The team behind Oak has successfully finished a Kickstarter campaign, getting more than 1,300,000 US dollars from backers around the world, including me. When a freelance client of mine forwarded me a link to Kickstarter campaign, I naturally was interested in backing and reviewing Oak boards. After all, machine learning on the edge and robotics are two main topics my channel is focused on. Today, we're going to have a look at Oak One, a pre-production prototype of which I'm holding in my hand. We will have a look at the specs, try pre-trained models from Model Zoo, and convert our own models to the format that can be used for fast inference on the module. If you're interested to know more about the company and people who made Oak One and Oak D, you can have a look at the interview with Luxoni CEO Brendan Gills on PyImageSearch.com, link in the description. Wait, 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 isn't PyImageSearch is sort of your competitor? No, not really, far from that. Actually, I have great respect for the creator of PyImageSearch.com and when I just started learning about computer vision a while ago, I also used his articles to get started. And my channel and his blog are actually focused on very different topics. Oak One board is the smaller board of the two in the lineup and it has only one camera. Unlike Oak D that has a binocular camera with synchronized global shutter, Oak One is made specifically for applications where depth information is not necessary, but price and hardware footprint are important. Let's have a look at the specs from Oak official Kickstarter campaign page. It is outfitted with 12 megapixel IMX 378 image sensor with autofocus and F number of 2.0. It has Myriad X VPU, the third generation vision processing unit from Intel at its core. VPU is a specific type of microprocessor optimized for accelerating computer vision tasks. Myriad X achieves that acceleration using two of its components. First of all, Neural Compute Engine, this is a dedicated hardware accelerator for deep neural network inference. In other words, it's an ISAAC similar to NVIDIA's NVDLA engines or Edge TPU. And 16 high performance shave cores, programmable processors with an instruction set tailored for computer vision, can be used to run traditional computer vision workloads or complement the neural compute engine by running custom layer types for CNN applications. Plus, the system on chip also has vision accelerators and a new native 4K image processor pipeline with support for up to eight high-resolution sensors connecting directly to the VPU. From the operations per second standpoint, Myriad X achieves combined compute capacity of 4 trillion operations per second, out of which 1 trillion operations per second is the theoretical maximum throughput of neural compute engine. For comparison, NVIDIA Jetson Nano has compute capacity of 0 0.472 trillion floating point operations per second. Jetson Xavier NX has 21 trillion operations per second and Google Edge TPU has 4 trillion operations per second or tops. So, Myriad X is essentially similar to Google Edge TPU in terms of neural network inference compute, but is more flexible thanks to presence of shave cores and vision accelerators. Now for the quick look at the module itself. 
It is very compact and has dimensions of 65 to 36 millimeters. Uh, here's for example, it's in comparison to my 6 inch phone. The board you see here is a pre-production sample, but is identical to final production version with the exception of OpenCV logo in the front. We can see high speed USB 3.1 port here. IMX378 image sensor, a reset button. Let's take away the heatsink and see what's behind it. In the center right here, we can see uh, the Myriad X VPU and there are also additional connectors such as i c bus connectors and UART. Plus, there is a power LED over here. Now let's put it back again. The software installation process is very easy and user-friendly. The API for interaction with the module is open source and can be compiled on virtually any platform. Pre-compiled packages are available for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. And there is even a pre-built Raspberry Pi image that includes everything that you need to get started. I was running samples on Ubuntu 18.04. Have a look at the installation instructions in my hexter.io article or at official Luxonis website. Basically, you'll need to git clone Debs AI GitHub repository, install the dependencies, set the UDEV rules for the module, and you're good to go. There is an extensive collection of pre-trained models from OpenVINA Model Zoo that can be used with OAK boards. Let's have a look at the few examples. This command runs the default MobileNet version 120 class SSD object detector trained on Pascal Walk dataset. This command is for phase detection in retail environment. And finally, two-stage inference with phase detection in the first stage and emotion recognition in second stage. Or the second stage recognition is performed on the results of first stage detection. But again, model zoo pre-trained models are great for getting a feel of how good the performance is, but ultimately, for most of people, the readily available models are not enough. So, the important question is, how flexible and easy to use is OAK when it comes to performing inference with your own models? For the flexibility, OAK boards support all operation and network types that Myriad X VPU supports. You can find extensive list here. I ran a series of tests with different network architectures, including MobileNet, TinyYola, SqueezeNet, and some others, and could run all of them without any problems. While it is not a comprehensive assessment of, of compatibility, I would say that, for example, comparing to Edge TPU, OpenVINA model converter has less quirks and supports more operations. You can convert your model manually using guides on Luxonis website. The pipeline for model conversion from TensorFlow Keras, for example, is frozen graph to intermediate representation model to binary blob. Or you can use Accelerate, a Keras-based framework for AI on the edge, which can be run locally on Linux computer or in Google Colab. Accelerate can download and install OpenVINA Converter, train the model, and then automatically convert the model with the best metrics into binary blob that can be used for inference on OAK boards. In one of the earlier videos on my channel for K210 chip, we have made a raccoon detector. Now, how about picking another animal? This time let's pick kangaroos. 
that will make a super useful kangaroo counter for these long road trips in Australia. After training the model in Google Colab, copy the binary model blob and download the example script and JSON model configuration from Accelerate Example Scripts folder. Then run the example script on Linux computer and enjoy automatic kangaroo spotting. For details about model training and running inference, check the accompanying article on Hexter.io. The Kickstarter campaign for Oak boards have successfully finished, but if you want to buy one, public pre-orders will be launching for Oak 1 and Oak D with a price just slightly higher than during Kickstarter campaign. Oak D definitely deserves a video of its own and I will make one soon. With OpenCV backing and software support and powerful hardware from Intel, Oak boards are up to a good start and hopefully will get widespread adoption in the field of computer vision hardware. Hope you enjoyed the video and it was useful for you. Until the next time.